In this exercise, we will be learning about creating forms. After this exercise, we will know how to create a simple form as well as an element set to be added to the end of forms. In this exercise, we'll be taking the following steps. First, we'll navigate to the global forms page, then creating a new guest feedback form. We'll then add the form to the luxury hotel landing page site template, and then import the employee satisfaction form. We'll update the forms grid field, as well as create an end of form element set, and then add the element set to the employee satisfaction form. After this exercise, there will be some bonus exercises that I won't be going through, but that you can try for yourself. This includes creating a new form on the Livingston Hotels and Resorts site for gathering feedback about the user experience. The form should be at least three pages long with no more than five fields on a page. You can also try creating an element set for commonly asked user experience questions and add it to the new form. But with that, let's start with the exercise. For this exercise, we'll be using the global forms page, meaning that we'll have to navigate to our global site before we get started. I'm currently on the global site, but we can navigate there by opening up our menu. And then we find sites and we can click the global site from here. Now, we can open up the site administration from the top left, and then we go to content and data, and then click forms. Now, we're going to be adding a new form, so we'll click the add icon at the top right of this page. You should see the following. We'll create a new guest feedback form, and so we'll name this form satisfaction survey. Under the title, we can type this following description, a guest satisfaction survey for each hotel location. Now, we will add a single selection field to gather the overall opinion. We'll go to our top right, and we'll click the Add icon, and this will bring up a sidebar of fields that we can add to the form. We'll drag in a single selection field into the form, and you should see a blue highlight when we're over the draggable part. For this, we'll type the following for the label. What is your overall opinion of Livingstone Hotels and Resorts? We'll add a few options for this. The first one, we'll type very poor, then poor, neutral for the next one, good, and then very good. Now we'll add in a multiple selection field to gather positive associations. So we'll click the add button again so that we can see the fields again. Now we'll drag in a multiple selection field under the single selection field. So you should see a small bar like this. For this, we'll call it which of the following do you associate with Livingston Hotels and Resorts? We'll add in a few options as well. For the first one, we'll type in luxury. And then good value for the second option. Exciting for a third option. And then comfortable for the fourth. Now we can use the back button up here to get back to the fields. We'll now add in a text field to gather what improvements can be done. So from here, we'll drag in a text field under the multiple selection field. For the label, we'll type in, is there anything specific we could be doing better? Under the field type, we'll change it from single line to multiple lines. And then we'll close the sidebar. Now we'll be formatting the success page. So under, at the very bottom of the page, we'll click on thank you. And then we'll replace this with success. And the description over here will replace this with, your feedback is highly valued. Thank you for filling out the form. And with this, we can publish our form. Now, we'll add the form to the luxury hotel location site template. So we'll open up the global menu, and we'll go to sites from within the control panel. So we'll see sites, and then we'll click site templates. 
we'll click Luxury Hotel Location Site. And from here, we'll navigate actually to the Livingston Difference in the tabs. Now from here, we'll find the Add button in the top right corner of the page, and then we'll click this Add button. Here, we'll navigate to Collaboration under the Widgets tab, and we'll find Form. So I already have a Form panel, but if you don't currently have one, you can drag in a Form widget, and it will show up like mine on the page. So right here, then we'll click Select Form. And for Scope, We'll have to change it, so we'll navigate to the Scope tab, and we'll open this dropdown, and we'll click Global. We'll click Save right here, and then we'll click the Setup tab. From here, now we can select the Satisfaction Survey because it's within the Global Scope. We'll click Save, and now we can click Close the pop-up. And we should see our form that we just created. Now, we'll be importing the Employee Satisfaction Form. So we'll open up the menu again, and we'll click on the Livingston Loop site. From the site administration that you can open with the top left menu, we'll click Content and Data, and we'll navigate down to Forms. Now from here, we'll navigate to the top right of the page, and we'll open up the Kebab menu, and we'll click on Export Import. From here, let's open the Import tab. And then we'll select the Employee Feedback Form LAR in your Exercises folder. From here, we'll click Continue, and this will allow us to import the form. After the import is successful, we can close the pop-up. Let's review the imported form. So we will click Employee Feedback Form that we just imported. And then we'll click the field that says, how satisfied are you with the following? And you can see all of the options and all of the columns that are available here. So from here, we'll update the forms grid field. So we'll add in a new row under the current row. We'll type in amount of work time versus break time. And from here, let's press save. So we see the new option that we added, and when we press preview, we can see the entirety of the form. Now we'll create an end of form element set. So we'll close this tab, and then we'll click this back button from the top left to navigate back to the forms application page. From here, we'll find the element sets tab and we'll click on this. In the top right, we'll click add to add an element set. And we'll click this untitled element set portion to edit the title, and we'll call this End of Form Set. Now we'll edit the description under the title, and we'll type in Use this set on the last page of a survey or feedback form. Now we'll add a Select from List field to gather survey satisfaction, so we'll click on the Add button from the right side. And we'll find the Select From List field, and we'll drag this into the form. For the label, we'll rename this to, I think, the length of the survey. And then we'll add in a few options. For the first one, we'll type in, was too long. We'll add in another one, was a little long. The next one will be, was just right. The last one could have been longer. Now we'll add a text field for additional comments. So from the top here, we'll click the back button. Now we'll drag a text field, the second option, into the form. And for the label, we'll type in, is there anything else you would like to let us know about? Under the field type, we'll select multiple lines. And with this, we can close the sidebar and we can click Save. Now we'll click back to navigate to the Forms application page. We'll navigate back to the Forms tab and then we'll click on the Employee Feedback Form. 
we'll scroll to the bottom and click New Page. From here, we'll find the Element Sets tab in the sidebar. And then we see the end of form set that we created just now. We'll drag the end of form set into the form and we see our element set created here. Now we can click save form.